Good morning, this is Jack from the Office Child on Net, and this is the pre-market recording for Friday the 21st of September. Today is quadruple witching, and, um, and actually this is the Wicked Witch. Um, the September witching is traditionally bearish. Now, it doesn't mean it's going to be today, and um, a stat which is 30% green um, also means that it closes, um, closes up 30% of the time, which actually is quite a lot, um, but it does mean it closes down 70% of the time. Um, we're actually in the most, interestingly, um, the most bearish several day period of the year. We've got a, a period of seven days where the average, on average, uh, the market was is no more than 32% up. This is in the last 20 years, um, on average, and um, and I think the um, the highest, the range between the highest and the lowest figures, I think, is 27 to 36. Um, so we beat the odds yesterday. Um, I think um, today would be a good time to start a retracement, and there is a setup for it. I'll be looking at it. Okay, our disclaimer. We do this for educational purposes only. We're here to share our technical analysis with you. We hope you can take some of what we're doing and learn from it, transfer it to your own charts. We're not here to issue trading signals. All right, yes. Yes. <laughs> Possible trend line resistance here. I've got a weak 60 minute sell signal fixed, and if we go back and retest this high, which I think is probable um, this morning, um, then we will get a full um, 60 minute sell signal brewing. We might well then see a retracement. Um, and I'll talk about that, and I'll have a look at the SPX chart, and I'll have a look at the NQ chart too. NQ hasn't quite reached the ideal trend line target, but it's not terribly strong. It might not reach it. Um, we've got no current divergence, these two highs. Um, this one was marginally higher, but if we go and retest the highs this morning, then we may well get a 60 minute sell signal bring. And as I said, I think that may well happen. Where are we on the rest of the charts? Let's have a look at the RTH charts and our next SPX. This is the arrows I drew in obviously a couple of weeks ago, and we're following those pretty well so far. Um, we didn't quite reach this trend line here. I'm thinking we may well come back for it, but we're quite a long way from it at the moment, so it would require a fairly brisk retracement to get there. But if we were to retrace over the next two or three days, and as I said, seasonality favours it, um, we might see a retracement back into here and then the next leg up. We shall see. Um, basically, what, I'm, what I was assuming on this chart was that we would be heading to this trend line um, in the early part of October, um, which is a good fit with cycles, and it's a good fit with well, everything else, really. So, uh, and that we'd be making a significant high there. Obviously, it wouldn't likely be a, an upside down V like this. It would likely be um, a, a period, a topping period, and so on and so forth. But I think, broadly speaking, um, this is what I was thinking was the best fit. And so far, it's more or less playing out, um, with the exception that we haven't hit this trend line yet. We may need to go back and get it. We shall see. All right, no current divergence on the 60 minute chart. Um, if we retest the highs today, though, we will start getting some. So um, I'll be watching that carefully and we'll see how that goes. RUT. RUT is interesting. As I pointed out the other day, it hadn't actually broken up from the bull flag yet. Um, it has now broken up. We've got a, a sustained break over the um, 50 hour moving average. I think this is the start of the move up. It doesn't mean it has to do it immediately though, and it could. Interesting possibility. Go back, retest this low, set up the second low of a double bottom, and then head up to the high. That could fit with a retracement here. I'm not necessarily going to see that, but well, as I said, um, there's, a, there's a possibility there, and there is a scenario, and the daily stats do back it up, so we shall see. No negative divergence on um, NQ either. This, as I say, as an impulse, isn't particularly promising. Um, I'm expecting this to end up with a retest of this high. I am wondering whether we're going to need to see a low retest first, and I am wondering whether we're going to see that sooner rather than later. Obviously, it hasn't actually got that far off the bottom, so it wouldn't be a huge trip to go back. A lot of the um, FANG stocks are rather weak here. This is a very narrow advance on NQ particularly, um, so we shall see. All right, great. In that case, let's roll on. Right, CL. Stan was saying that it was a possibility we might see a, a marginal higher high. I have to say that's going pretty well so far. Um, we had a head and shoulders breakdown, and it is rejecting. We're over the right shoulder high. Um, the obvious read is that this is a, um, a Janus flag, which is going to deliver a full retest of the high. Um, that may well get us the second high of a, a small double top. Equally, it may go a bit higher. I have trend line resistance currently in about the 72.7 area. Not expecting it to get that high but wouldn't be that surprised to see it get that high. Um, so we shall see how that goes. All right, NG. NG, we had a spike up on the news yesterday, um, which 
was unexpected, um, but you get those sometimes. And we're expecting to see um, most or all of this um, spike retraced. Might need a retest of this high first. Um, if so, expecting a marginal higher high and then likely a retracement, retrace down to here, and then we see what happens there. If we find support in this broken resistance area, um, then we'd probably go up directly from there. We shall see. But stands, stands for leaning short, so uh, we, if we can break this area, then uh, we can still deliver that downside. Okay, GC. Um, GC has gone up and it's tested triangle resistance, um, which is it didn't need to do actually, but it's held. Um, it's reversing here. I think the setup on DX is strongly saying rally here. Um, so I'm expecting to see the um, retracement. Ideally, for me, that would head down into triangle support. I'm currently in the 11.95 area. Might not get as might not get quite as far as that. Obviously, if DX were to break out to the upside which I don't think is likely, then it would probably go lower. SI, this is actually probably best read as a bear flag, um, so which does raise the interesting possibility that we might see a retest of the low. Um, watching this with interest, we've obviously broken this trend line resistance. Um, I think we're in a bottoming process here. That bottoming process could require a retest of the low. So at the moment, we've got um, pretty decent support at the weekly pivot, only the weekly pivot for today, obviously, of course. And, um, and in the same area, the back test of broken trend line resistance. Uh, we shall see. That's in about the 1420 area, but we could need to see a retest of this low. We shall see. Um, HG, uh, we've got a nice rising wedge here. We've hit wedge resistance and we are reversing there. We, got, we haven't got a sell signal on any of these. Um, we might need to retest this high. That could set up a 60 minute sell signal. Um, lovely Janus flag here, by the way, as well, which is a head and shoulders broke down, rejected straight back through the previous high. We've had a few of those lately, but um, expecting to see maybe a retest this high and then a breakdown, and then we do the re uh, we do the retracement and we see where that goes. Um, obviously, that's heavily dependent on DX. Where are we on DX? Hang on, just come to do ZB first. Now ZB, um, this is an interesting development because um, I think we're forming a larger and flatter IHS here. It looks pretty nice, um, but the thing about it is that the target for the IHS would be considerably over trendline resistance, which is now um, in approximately the 140.108 area. This target would be in about the 140.121 um, area, which is interesting. So I'm expecting this to break up. We're still on a 60-minute um, buy signal. Um, it looks pretty good. Um, let's have a look at on TNX quickly as well. Um, hang on. TNX, we've got a, um, a sell signal. Uh, we haven't quite done a retest this high, and I have to say I'm leaning towards seeing a retracement on TNX here, which would be the rally on ZB, and then a higher high, which delivers the full retest this high and likely goes a little higher. That's got me leaning towards this not being a um, serious low on ZB, but to see a rally and then a bit lower and then higher. Um, so, uh, But uh, we'll see how that goes. At the moment, though, it looks as though this channel might break. Um, if this um, IHS breaks up, as it's likely to get, likely to do, we could, f of course, fail at um, at resistance. Um, seen that happen before. We shall see. DX, um, DX. This has broadened into a channel. Um, I was talking last night about the ideal path from here would be a retest to the low, which we've seen. Uh, bounce there, which we've seen. A sixty minute. A possible 60 minute bicycle might form and it's now fixed. Uh, we've got a nice look at, and we'd have a nice double bottom setup, which we've got. Um, our sustained break over 93.75 looks for the 94.05 area. Um, and I've got trend line resist, channel resistance currently in about the 94.1 area. I think stands looking a little higher, um, but obviously it would need to get through channel resistance to go any higher. Um, and it may or may not do that. Um, UUSD. Um, UUSD, I've got a channel on the upside, um, and we are topping out. I've got a 60 minute sell signal, and I'm looking for a return to um, channel support, which is currently in the 116.9 area. So we shall see. All right, UST JPY, I've got this as an overall. Um, channel now, and um, we haven't quite reached channel resistance. Obviously, the minimum target we're expecting to see are the retest of this high here at 113.15. Uh, we shall see. The ZBIHS is still potentially in play. It could reverse now um, and go straight up from there, um, but it's close enough to the previous high now that I, the obvious read would be a double top, even if it did that um, for me. Um, so we could do it from a lower high. Yes, you do gather on lower highs. Normally, it'd be a higher high, but not always by any means. 
Okay, um, right, so USDJPY um, looks as though it's reversing towards trend line support, maybe, um, 112, um, 30, um, 30 area, but mainly we're looking for a retest of the high. It will soon be able to do that within this channel. USD CAD, um, I've got this work as a working falling wedge here. We're on the 60 minute bicycle has now fixed. Um, potential bottoming pattern there. Um, the obvious next move looks like a, um, a reversal into um, wedge resistance, which is currently in the 1.29. 298 area. Australian dollar, um, a 60 minute sell signal is fixed, same on um, NZUSD. Um, we haven't made the IHS target yet, um, which is in the 7380 area, and I'm expecting to make that, but it looks like we can do a retracement first. Um, we shall see where that goes. Multi pivot just below at 7273. Okay, KC. Um, KC, um, nice breakup. It um, tested the weekly pivot, rejected there yesterday, and is back testing it again today. We could set up, we could fail there again, um, possibly on a 60 minute sell signal, setting up a probable retest of the low, or we could head up towards um, trend line resistance, which is currently in the 1.032 um, area. Um, so we'll see. A break over that 1.032 sets up a, um, a decent strong move, which we'd be expecting to retrace the whole of this move. Move, um, which over the last couple of months. So uh, looking for signs that our bottom is in. We've certainly got all the daily divergence that we could possibly want. Um, so um, we just need something a, a good bullish sign from um, from KC. As long as we if as long if we touch this, then chances are we've re-established a new um, support trend line. We don't need to hit this trend line. This is the one that we're going to reverse down to potentially um, if we see a fail hard fail here at weekly pivot. And I've currently got that in the 92.5 area. Right, um, SB. SB still kicking around. Looks like a bear flag forming. Probably going to see a, a retest of the monthly pivot. Um, and we'll see whether we can find support here or slightly below. I mean, that could be a double um, bottom setting up, or it could continue down into the retest of this low. Keeping an open mind. Stan's not expecting a retest of the low. Um, CC. Um, this has been, I mean, overall, um, I think it's too large to be a flag, but overall, this looks like a flag. This looks like thrust retracement that would be thrust. Stan, would talk, Stan was talking about this on the video yesterday, um, watching to see whether the CC heads to the next obvious trendline target, which is this trendline resistance in the 2320 area. Um, ZW. Um, ZW has broken the falling wedge resistance, which is interesting and, well, frankly good. Um, we're pretty close to the possible IHS neckline or asymmetric double bottom resistance. Watching that at 5.30 area and seeing whether we see a breakover or a reversal to form a right shoulder. The ideal right shoulder low would be in the 5.06 area. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll be current doing questions at the end. Now, um, let's have a look at corn. Uh, corn, I've got this, I've had a careful look at that this morning. This is actually an overall falling channel, which has only been established at this low here. Um, the obvious next move is to channel resistance, currently in the 362 area, and we are stalled currently at weekly pivot. No divergence, um, but this is this looks like a flag forming. If we can get through weekly pivot, 360 is the obvious target. Um, soy, soy, we saw a nice move up. We had a very nice looking falling wedge here. That's broken up. Um, we're, we've actually made it to the 38.2 cent fib retracement, and we've also made it to a potential iron chestnut climb. I'm wondering about a possible re back test into the weekly pivot area. Only weekly pivot's only the weekly pivot for today, obviously. But um, weekly pivot area is the 834 area, um, maybe a bit lower into 826, um, and that would make a nice right shoulder for a larger move up. Um, to come. Pretty bullish on soy, been talking about it in chart chat, um, so um, news permitting obviously is uh, quite a news sensitive instrument. Okay, right, in that case I'm going to call that a wrap.